minute there. I'm afraid you are committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Huh. Well, Missy, that's just a natural response that people have to someone in my kind of position. Huh? The risk, the prestige, the authority. It's a tough job, but somebody's got it. Uh, yeah, you know, you'd be surprised how often I hear that in this line of work. Uh, it's the uniform, you know. Women just can't get over the uniform. Well, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, if I continue to engage you in conversation, it's a violation of Code 613. I mean, I gotta admit, I'm a little flattered if you're stalking me, but, uh, anyhow, uh, you see where your little security muffins ended up? Night shift lobby sergeant, huh? <laughs> hey, you stick with me, cause I'm going straight to the top, baby. Uh, I'd love to buzz you up, but according to Building Security Protocol 916, I'm gonna have to verify you're supposed to be here before I can open the elevator. I hate to be a Louis Law, but I'm new here, and uh, you don't get a second chance like this every day. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or, uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days uh, at the station. Stationarium, that was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> that was me. Mr. LaCroix told me to keep an eye out for you, Coffee Cake. Said to send you right up. You know, I got a break in an hour, and a fresh box of Krusty Kremes in the back. How about on your way out? We, uh... <laughs> Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out, and the innocent, safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working, decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Ah, let's see what we got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. I've been thinking about you, oh yeah, I want to lick you all over. Then make my way down to your creamy center and... What the... Get your hands off my Bavarian cream! Evening air. Something burning? Ooh, smells like someone burnt the burgers. Ah, uh, sure, I'll open her up for you. Jeez, I could go for one of them double space burgers with the onions and the cheese and some bacon and the guacamole. Oof. Oh, excuse me. I'm starting to doze off there. Oh, I need to get a guard animal of some sort to alert me when folks come in. Hmm, maybe one of them chimps like on that show Ape Detective? <laughs> oh, that, that monkey always gets his man. Uh, say, fruit pie. If you're still up and about in a few hours, uh, why don't you stop by at the end of my shift and I'll treat you to breakfast, huh? Endless stack of flapjacks, little boysenberry syrup, your security teddy bear. 
Yeah, you'll go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Huh? Is it? Huh? Cover me, Tubbs! Huh? What? Huh? Oh. Whew, must have dozed off there a minute. Ah, uh, I'm sorry there, but Mr. LaCroix, he told me not to let anybody up right now. He sounded kind of PO'd. Must be all the late nights he's working. Anyhow, I can't let you go see him right now. Sorry. Nothing personal, Pudding Cup, but LaCroix told me I couldn't let anyone up to see him. Afraid I can't let you in at the moment. Oh, am I ever glad you're safe, Cinnamon Bun. I was on sick leave when I heard about the attack. I worried you might have a... Well, anyway, your security stud's here to protect you now. Don't you worry. But, Pudding Pop! But, but... Ah, jeez. Yes, ma'am. Uh, see, I don't know what happened, but... LaCroix says I'm not supposed to let you up under any circumstances. He says I should escort you out of the building, so I'm afraid you're going to have to leave. Ah, come on now, just leave, okay? I don't want to have to use force, but I am authorized to do so. Please don't make me do this, Missy. If you won't go, then I've, I've got no choice. Get out! 